Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, and thank you for stopping by the channel. Now this next pattern is number 37 in our Gray Smoky Mountain series. This one is called the Gray Hackle Peacock. Now we've talked about the history of the Gray Hackle series before, several hundred years ago, came from the old country over in England. But per Don Kirk, this pattern is probably the oldest soft hackle wet fly to be used in the Great Smoky Mountain Park. Now some of the literature mentions it as far back as the 1840s and says it originated on the east and west fork of the Pigeon River. Now the Pigeon River flows from North Carolina, northwest and up into Tennessee, kind of along the, the outskirts, the northern edge of the park. So we know this is a pretty old pattern. It's really pretty cool. It's very simple, a little bit of red tail, gold tag, peacock curl body, but then it's a, got a grizzly soft hackle. So it's kind of cool for a soft hackle wet fly. I think you're gonna like it. Let's give it a shot. So there it is in the vise, gray hackle peacock. So the recipe on this gray hackle peacock calls for a, a pretty big hook, as big as an eight and small as a 12. I'm going to tie this on a size 10, standard, or it's actually 1x long nymph wet fly hook. I'm going to put the base all the way down to the bend. Now we'll catch in the tail. And the tail on this is red saddle hackle fibers, just some cheap strong saddle hackle. You might need to take two clumps of it. I've got two right here and a good bit longer than a hook gap, maybe a body length, maybe maybe less than that. So I'm gonna go about right there and see how that's gonna look for us. Couple of medium wraps, make sure it's not spinning around on me. I think that's gonna be fine. So I'll secure it with a few more tight wraps going back. Okay, and I think that is gonna be just fine right there. So we'll go ahead and snip this off. You know what? Let's just bury some of this in here to give us a little bit thicker of an underbody. Okay, now take your thread back to the front of that tail and take a small piece of tinsel. I'm using a size medium because this is a pretty beefy hook. And this is just a tag. So you don't need much. I'm gonna go ahead and catch it in way back here without a whole lot of excess. So kind of pull that forward and bury that in. Now, before we even catch in our peacock, let's go ahead and wrap this tag. So two wraps is probably fine. Go with three if you want. See, I'm gonna do three. Just, just try to make it a slight bit more visible. I mean, that is the, the purpose of a tag, is just that little touch of gold. So back that thread up one turn and go ahead and secure this in. Is that gonna be enough? Yeah, I think so. One more for good measure. Now snip this off. Now, I am gonna do a, a, a peacock curl rope for this one. So what I'll do, take my thread back here where we're gonna start the peacock curl and pull down about four or five inches. And pull it up right there. So catch this in. So now you see I've got my, my uh, dubbing loop basically. And I'll take my thread back up here to where we're going to finish this body. And it's a pretty long body, pretty beefy body. That's why, well, you know what, before I do that, or I, I can do that. So just hold this, pull this thread out of your way, and I'm gonna grab three peacock curls. Because I want this to be a substantial body. So I'm gonna catch this in up here. Just open loose wraps to get it back here to where your dubbing loop is. Now we can take our thread back up here to the front of the body. So what you'll want to do now is grab this peacock curl and then your two strands of thread and just try to pull them together. And you'll want to take your hackle pliers. If you had a dubbing spinner, it would probably work 
it might work as well, but I think just the spring-loaded hackle pliers works a little bit better. And grab them, grab several of your hurls, or all the hurls, and the two strands of thread, and just give it a twist. Now, you'll learn this after a few times. You can't twist it too tight, or you'll have one of these hurls in the middle break, and then it'll just be a big mess. So. I put several twists on it. Now I'm just gonna wrap this rope all the way up to the front. Now, part way through, maybe halfway, you might have to give it a couple more spins just to tighten it back up. Okay, now when you've got your body up toward the front there, I was running out of room with the peacock curl. Ideally, I think I would rather had one more wrap, make this body just a little bit longer, but we'll see how this looks. So the next component is grizzly, but a, a hen grizzly, not your grizzly saddle hackle from a rooster. You want this to be a soft hackle. If you don't have a soft hackle in grizzly, I would probably just use a partridge. So what I'm gonna do here, is I want it to have a, a fair amount of, of hackle up here, so I'm gonna tie it in from the base. If I only wanted it more sparse, I would tie it in from the tip, and then you'd be wrapping you know, smaller, smaller hackle fibers. But I want this one to be pretty substantial, so we'll go ahead and catch this in up here. Good three or four turns right there, and I'm gonna spin it in just a second, so snip this excess off and I'm going to probably see if I can get away with about four turns of this thing and we'll see how much hackle that ends up putting down and if it's you know too too much we can back it off so there's one full wrap right there and then the next one right in front of it don't worry about them splaying out we're going to work on this head in a second to, to push them back. So that is three. Let's skip, yeah, let's do four. Let's go one more. Okay, now let's catch this off up here at the eye. Two wraps is probably fine there. And I'm gonna go ahead and release the pliers pull everything back except this tip. Now I can reach in here and snip the tip only. Now we just need to clean up this head and get these hackle fibers laying back how we'd like. So I'm gonna push them back, try to get them all in your fingers here. Now just a few wraps over the top of them. That should have them laying back pretty well. And we've got plenty of room for a head up here. You can build the head as big as you'd like. Uh, it is a, a, a soft hackle type wet fly, so don't worry about having a, a beefy head up here. In fact, it might be preferred with a nice drop of head cement to make it pretty and glossy. I think that always looks good. So I'm gonna go even a little bit bigger on this head. We can whip finish this and put our head cement on it. And can we see that tag? Just a little bit. But I think this will work. A gray hackle peacock, soft hackle wet fly, Smoky Mountain favorite for at least 100 years. So that's it, my friends. I appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.